Let's keep it simple and make the best elk rib chops you will ever have. Starting with this five rib rack of elk from First Light Farms, getting rid of all that sinew, and look how beautiful this meat is. Typically, I smoke this rack whole and then finish it with a real nice sear to get a beautiful crust. This is going to be a first for me. I'm breaking it down into individual rib chops and I'm hitting it with a marinade. I don't use marinades often, but good Lord was this one worth it. Started with about a third of a cup of brown sugar and then went in with the juice of one whole lemon. Followed that by some soy sauce, eh, a tablespoon or two roughly, and then hit it with the sriracha. Be as generous or low key as you want with this depending on the amount of spice. Then go in with your favorite honey. This is wildflower honey that Adric picked out, not elderflower. That would give me some serious next level chef PTSD. I went in with the marinade and as you might be able to see, I poked the elk chops with a knife to get some holes in it. It's very lean, so I want that marinade to really get in there. We are going direct on the grill. It's been pouring out, but who cares? I wanted these chops between medium rare and medium. Went ahead and left them on for about three minutes before I flipped. Let them go for another three minutes on the other side. And then I flipped probably two more times, about a minute each. At that point, you're still left with all this beautiful sriracha honey glaze. So I went ahead and gave them another nice coating of that before finally taking them off. I let them rest. I mean, God, look at that glaze. It's beautiful. Grill marks. Huh. I tried to plate them up nice, a little bit of a salad garnish. Even though Gordon Ramsay told me I plate like an eight-year-old, the marinade tenderized these like crazy. I mean, look, that bite tells you everything. Sticky and sweet with that hit of sriracha at the end. These were a delight, and I promise you'll think so too.